So in this video we're going to look at how to do estimation using SPSS. We're going to follow through the instructions on 4.4 in the textbook and we're going to use the example data from chapter 4 on the birth weight of ground squirrels. Just bring up the data here in front of us and you can make a data file yourself, this data file yourself and there's um, some separate guidance on that and it's in the appendix of the book or you can use the pre-prepared pre file which you can download from the online resource centre. Okay, so let's get on with the analysis. We're going to do analyse descriptive statistics and this time we're going to do explore. In chapter 3 we looked at using descriptive statistics on a single sample and we used the descriptive option here, we get because we want to look at uh, two samples separately, we're going to use the explore, explore option. We're going to put sex into the factor list, birth weight into the dependent list. We're going to ask it to do, just check on the what statistics, that's, that's fine for us. Um, then we can look at plots, what plots we want to do, we want to actually do a histogram. I, I would say just to go around the stem and leave. Um, then th we can explore the others at some other time. But we've got the basics there. You're going to press OK. And you see it comes up in the output window with your, st your standard descriptive statistics. Uh, and for each sample, there's the male and the female. Here you've got the basic statistics and here you've got standard errors as well for these, uh, the mean, uh, the skewness and the courtois which actually um, we, don't, we don't cover in the biomeasurement book but uh, that's what that means, that comes up as default. Okay, let's also do a graph, a couple of ways of doing a graph. The way that it shows you in the book is to use the chart builder um, and you just choose your chart type drag it up there, uh, you drag sex to the x-axis, birth weight to the y-axis, check that you've got your mean and your confidence intervals and you're done. So that's um, done the graph using that route. And you can edit it, double click on it and edit it to get rid of like, this big space here. The alternative way of doing it would be to go to graphs, legacy dialogue, then do error bar, simple defined clusters, def define like that, then sex into the category axis, birth weight into the variable axis, axis. then you've got checking your bars, confidence intervals, go OK, and you come up with that. So that's two ways of doing the same graph. Just looking at this one, this one looks different because it doesn't start till 8, which is actually a little bit in most cases that would be a more sensible thing to do. But you can always edit your graphs by double clicking on them and when you get them in the editor window then you can you can play around with this but there's all sorts of things you can do to, to edit. So for here we could make the minimum 8 rather than um, naught, and it would look more like the one you did with the legacy dialogues. So there you go, you've done estimation and you've done uh, the producing the error plots using SPSS.